So this is another one of those off-the-cuff um, videos that's not planned, so it is what it is. Um, new product review, a new to me product review, Bacon Maple Tempeh Blue Menu from Loblaws Superstore specifically. Uh, I had a friend tell me that they actually liked this and I've tried Tempeh in the past. I tried it when I first went vegan and frankly thought it was vile. So, um, you know, I was looking for, for a bacon substitute. Why do I lose my scissors like on the daily? Right. So, um, anyways, I was I was looking for a bacon substitute at the time, and all the vegan groups had said bacon tempeh. So I had an expectation, and it did not live up to it, like by a long shot. Anyways, this is bacon maple flavored. I don't know. Well, let's give it a go. It says to fry it on a medium high heat. Three to four minutes, turning once until golden brown. Making a few pieces because I plan on making a grilled cheese, and if this is any good, I'll stick this in the grilled grilled cheese or grilled gary. So three to four minutes. Let's see what happens. And now flipping. Oh, ground up pretty nice. The mushrooms are for my grilled Gary. I decided to fancy it up. All right, another minute. Okay. All right, let's give it a whirl. Frying pan's hot. Alright. So tempeh, trying to manage my own expectations here. Tempeh is a fermented soybean that has been pressed. So it is a fermented food, which means it's pretty good for you, actually. And it's actually pretty high in protein as well. For seven slices, and I think I have six here, so this is just short one slice to be a serving. It's got 15 grams of protein, 150 calories, eight carbs, and of course, zero cholesterol because it's a plant-based product. But how does it taste? Texture's pretty firm. Excuse me, I'm gonna go yell at my dogs. Hey, no marks. I don't like tempeh. I don't even want to put a second bite in my mouth. For science. No. No. Okay. Managing expectations. The texture is not reminiscent of bacon in any way, shape, or form. The taste of this isn't isn't utterly horrible. It's almost it's just weird. It's almost got like a potato texture, like little tiny nuggets of potato that have been smashed together. Smoky flavor. I don't know 
where they get off calling this a bacon substitute, though. Because I'll tell you this. It's absolutely not. Maybe I would put this on top of a baked potato. Actually, that might be okay. Because the textures wouldn't be weird together. I'll tell you this, it's not going in my sandwich. Okay. So there you go. For a taste and texture on a scale of 1 to 10, taste I might give it a 5. It's not terrible, but it's not, oh my god, that's delicious. Texture, if you're looking for bacon, it's a, um, I don't know, negative 5. I will not buy this again. No. Did you like it? Have you tried it? Comment down below and let me know if you did. I'm interested to see how many people actually like this stuff. All right. That's it. Find me on Facebook, Accidentally Vegan D, and on Instagram. Namaste.